Welcome back to the Halftime Show here on the PAC Sports Network. And we're joined now by St. Vincent women's basketball coach, Jimmy Petruska. Coach, thanks for being with us today. Thanks for having me, Randy. Now, uh, tonight not only marks the PAC opener for St. Vincent, but also the home opener for the Bearcats. And after three games on the road to start the year, you know, what are your early impressions of this year's Bearcats? Um, we got a lot of fight. Um, I like what we're doing defensively. Um, we have to get more consistent. We have to acclimate our new players uh, a little bit quicker. Um, but overall, I like where we're at. And St. Vincent enters this season as the reigning PAC champions, winning the program's third conference crown in the last five years last year. Uh, if you could reflect back on last season for a moment, you know, what, what it was like for you and your team to cut down the nets as PAC champs. Sure. Last year was very special, um, very rewarding for us. Uh, very proud moment, obviously, in our program history. But uh, for our senior players that went through a lot with the COVID era and cancellation of trips, I, I thought that was a really awesome way to send them off. Um, but also a lot of good experience for our younger players to experience that that run and that growth and getting to nationals. Um, you know, and our focus, our mindset last year was not to win a PAC championship, but just to really get better every day. I know that's cliche, and a lot of coaches say that, but that is ultimately our goal every day and our focus is to get better and to come together as a team um, and really just try to focus on that improvement. And the team returns four of five starters from last year's championship team. You know, how valuable is it to have that kind of experience back? It's very valuable. You know, when, when you have a young sophomore group that we have is very talented. Um, we've got a pretty good freshman group that come in and join our team. Um, and then I have two juniors, you know, so when you have that experience come back and they kind of know obviously how to show the ropes to the younger kids, but just that expectation, that determination and that persistence and pursuit of that daily growth is very, very key for us. First team all PAC pick Emily Cavasini uh, was the team leading scorer, uh, leader in three pointers and steals. Yeah, you know, how much of a leader is Cavasini for the Bearcats on and off the court? Cavasini does a tremendous job um, leading by example, but also uh, leading behind the scenes. You know, she's really developed and has grown, matured from her freshman year to now um, into someone very special, and I respect very highly as well as our other leaders and our captains. But uh, Emily plays with a lot of heart too, a lot of passion and desire. So I think that is contagious um, when it's harnessed in the right way. Yeah, I do think you see that quite a bit throughout your roster. Another one of those type of players that play with heart, uh, PAC Defensive Player of the Year from last year, Elena Winkler. Uh, what kind of challenge is she for opposing teams to try and score on? Sure. Elena is a very versatile defender. She can guard the point guard to a four or five spot, depending on who they are. You know, and, and Elena understands angles, understands technique, but her strength is probably her indetermination are probably two of her biggest attributes as a defensive player. Um, great kid, great leader, very uh, lead by example, but very quiet leader. But when she talks, everybody listens. At forward, Madison Weber back for a, for a grad year this year. Lizzie Bender also returns. Um, with the graduation of Ella Marconi, how much are you looking for for them uh, to be able to to you know pick up what uh, what is left behind by Marconi? Yeah, Lizzie has stepped in right away and has done what we needed her to do. Um, and she was a big key piece for us last year too. There was a couple games that Ella missed. Um, due to being sick and whatnot, but she stepped right in and, and we didn't miss a beat. And, uh, and Lizzie's done a great job with that so far and, and tremendous leader as well. Maddie Weber, to have Madison back for her fifth year um, is a tremendous um, key component for us to be successful. Her passing ability, scoring ability, defensive player, um, rebounder, but her maturity is, is really something that we're looking forward to. And, and Lizzie on. Bender, for me anyway, one of my favorite players to watch. She's she's yeah. one of those where you bring her in the game. She can take opposing teams, opposing forwards, and you've matched her up with some of the best in the league. And she, you know, she can take them out of their game. She's she's a tough one, certainly, uh, and a fun one to watch from our end here on the PAC Sports Network. That's extremely underrated. Um, she's very versatile inside and out. She can handle it. She's very strong, has great footwork, but uh, another great kid 
that I'm extremely proud of. And, you know, we're just starting this journey this year. So really looking forward to this season. Surely. And in rounding out your starting lineup, junior guard, Emily Thompson, you know, what kind of steady, consistent presence does she bring? Emily, again, is an excellent leader, um, leads by example. She backs it up. Um, just a versatile guard that can really score the ball, a lanky defender. Um, I think she poses a lot of matchup problems for our opponents as well, defensively, but offensively, I can post her up. She has a, probably the best jump shot in the conference. Um, and if not, definitely top three or four or five. But uh, her ability to shoot the three as well. I mean, just a, a tremendous offensive and defensive player, complete player. Now, you always have a deep and talented roster, so we won't be able to get to everybody. But you know, from some of the youngsters, sophomore forward Camden Basher, sophomore guard McKenna Mayer, youngsters who have already logged some significant minutes in the early part of the season, you know, what will they add to the team off the bench? They just – bunch of those kids you had mentioned were injured last year so getting them back this year um is very you know key for us but uh they all do something different and when you mix it together that makes it uh you know a strong component offensively but uh basher is a very versatile quick six one not not really a power back you down kind of player but uh offensively she can score the ball in multiple ways defensively Excellent shot blocker, um, long, again, lanky, and, uh, and likes to run. McKenna Mayer can really shoot the ball. Um, just a tremendous offensive threat. Very sound defensive player and a good rebounder. Reese Gatsby is another one. Kayla Sharman. Bethany Smith has had a great four or five weeks with us so far. Um, so don't be shocked to see her out there soon. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I mean, it's just we have a lot of talent on this team. It's just right now about coming together and really trying to reinstate that mindset and focus on that growth. I think coming off a championship year, there could be some certain highs that you still have kind of lingering um, until you get your clock cleaned a little bit. And then it's, it's back to work and back to not square one, but kind of a reality check. Sure. And, and, you know, talking about the team being deep, being talented, obviously you have a lot of experience. So a lot of positives for this season to make another run. Um, you know, how do the Bearcats face the challenge of being the reigning PAC champion? Certainly you have the target on your back uh, from opposing teams. So how do you handle that and in, in make another run for a championship? Um, I think we handle it by focusing on what we need to do internally. And what we need to do internally is just focus on coming together. Um, it, it's a process. It's a daily commitment. Um, focus on our growth team wise, individually, but also collectively and not get too high or too low. I think a lot of just by nature, a lot of uh, defending champions have that hidden, untalked about pressure of a repeat. Um, we don't we, we haven't talked about it. You know, it, again, it, it's not our goal to win a PAC title. You have to have some luck involved with that. Um, obviously you have to stay healthy at the right times and peak at the right times. But I think if you focus on your growth and you focus on your team, um, intensity and commitment to each other, hopefully you put yourself in position for that to take care of itself. It's Jimmy Petruska, St. Vincent basketball, uh, women's head coach, Jimmy, always a pleasure. And thanks for your time and good luck to you and the team this season. Thank you, Randy. We'll have the second half of today's game when we come back here on the PAC sports network.